What's up guys, the Red Snow Jailbreak for 4.1 on Windows was just released on the Dev Teams blog. Uh, so I thought I'd do a quick little guide for you guys. And by the way, if you have Mac, you can click my computer screen right now and it'll link you to the Mac guide on how to do this. This version of Red Snow will jailbreak 4.0 to 4.1 firmwares, uh, but it only covers two devices, which is the iPod Touch 2nd generation and the iPhone 3G. And a quick little note for the noobs that don't know, uh, the iPod Touch 2nd generation, a way you can tell if your iPod Touch is 2G or 3G, um, if you have the 2nd generation iPod Touch, it is going to say down here uh, where the writing is on your iPod Touch, it's going to say at the very bottom, uh, trademark or TM and the little C sign which stands for copyright. 2008 Apple Inc. If it says that, then you are on a second generation iPod Touch. If it doesn't say that, then you're on a third gen. So basically, this is a simple process. Uh, now, one little note I do need to make is if you have an MC model iPod Touch second generation, uh, this is going to be a tethered jailbreak. So that means every time you want to uh, turn your iPod on or off, you're going to have to plug it up to their computer and do this whole jailbreak process again. Uh, if you want to know if your iPod Touch is MC model or not, go into settings. Uh, go to general, go to about, and then you will see down here model, and as you see mine says MB, if yours is MC it will start out with MC, and that's basically how you tell that. So now that we've been over everything, it's time to get down to the actual jailbreak. So first off, what you're going to need to do is download Red Snow, I have conveniently placed a link in the description to, the da to download that. And you're going to need to download the 4.1 firmware, which I've also gave a convenient link in the description to that. Uh, make sure you download the correct one for your device, iPhone or iPod Touch. And you're going to need to save those both to your desktop. Go ahead and extract uh, Red Snow out of the zip folder. And basically what we need to do is go ahead and have your iPod or iPhone plugged up to your computer. And uh, open up Red Snow. Let's go ahead and open up RedSnow.exe. So we're just going to hit Browse. And we're going to select the firmware that we just downloaded. Let's so navigate to our desktop where we saved it. And we should see it on here. Okay, here we go. We got iPod 2, 1. So let's just go ahead and click on that. Is this an MC model? As I uh, said before, we have went over that. Uh, if you are not sure, you can find about it in general, blah, blah, blah. Um, if you're not sure, so let's just go ahead and select no because I'm not an MC model. If you are an MC model, you are going to select yes. So there we go. Let's just go ahead and hit next. It's going to contact the server. Okay, here we go. Just waiting now. Now here's where you get to choose your options. You've got a few different things you can choose from. Uh, install Cydia, Verbose Boot. Uh, you definitely want to install Cydia. Leave that check. That's, gonna, that's actually going to give you a jailbreak. Uh, you've got Verbose Boot, which is going to give you all kinds of scrolling text when it boots up. I'm actually going to check that this time. Uh, you can do custom boot logo, custom recovery logo. Uh, you can enable multitasking and home screen wallpapers. Uh, you're definitely going to want to do these two right here, multitasking and home screen wallpaper, because those are two uh, features that you don't get on these two devices. So that's about all. Go ahead and check everything you want and hit next. And uh, make sure your device is both off and plugged in. So I'm going to go ahead and turn my device off and make sure you have it plugged in. So there we go. Got my device off. Now Now what we're going to do is put the device into DFU mode. If you don't know how to do that, it's pretty simple. Uh, basically, now that we got the device off, we're going to hold the power button in for 3 seconds. And then we're going to hold the home button in for 10 seconds. So we're going to be holding both buttons. Never release the power button. Uh, and then you're going to release the power button and keep holding in the home button. Uh, for a few more seconds. Uh, so basically we're going to do that immediately after we click next. So be ready and have your uh, your finger here on the home button. So I'm going to zoom out just a little bit so you guys can see the whole thing and I'm going to click next. So here we go. Three, two, one. Now we're holding both buttons. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Now release the power button and keep holding the home button. And that is about it. Just give it a second here. Keep holding it in. Keep holding it in. Now we are waiting for the reboot. And there you go. It should say done. And it says the rest of the process will take place on your device. Uh, you can go ahead and release the home button now. Go ahead and hit finish and just give it a minute.
So there you go, just be patient and you should get some pictures and images uh, come up on your iPod or iPhone and it'll tell you everything it's doing. Uh, and Just be patient, wait it out and it should work. If it doesn't, your iPod is going to look like this and you're just going to get a black screen and be stuck on it. I tried this twice and it didn't work, uh, so I thought this would be good to throw in the video. It does work. If you don't want to, uh, use this jailbreak because this may happen or if you have this problem, uh, just wait for the new jailbreak. Uh, but if you do get this problem, just hold the home and power buttons in and your device will reboot in only a few seconds. Just keep holding them in. There you go. So just wait for the Apple logo and your device will be rebooted and it should be fine. So that's about it, Charlotte. So that's about it. Sorry I couldn't show you a working uh, jailbreak because I'm having issues with it. Again, just wait for the new jailbreak. And I will have a video on that as soon as it's released. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button right up there. It is free and it will notify you when I post new videos like the new Green Poison Jailbreak video. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching and peace out.